Oh my gosh, this for the first time in ever, I don't know how to open a video. Anyway, um, I guess welcome to uh, my uh, newest video, the first video of 2019 on my channel. Um, as I said in my top 10 of 2018, I won't be releasing that many videos in uh, January or February, but I'll start you know, pumping out videos more and more um, uh, from March onwards. Um, but for January and for this video, I will be showing you my complete collection of my Blu-rays. Well, it's not really my complete collection, and I do have to um, let you guys know this before we get actually get into the, to the rest of the video. I don't have all the Blu-rays that I want, okay? I have a list of Blu-rays written down, and there's like, there's a hundred of them, almost. But, this is not my complete collection, it's just my current collection, my, at the moment, the collection that I have right now. Um, so in the future I will have a lot more and I might do a second video, but for right now I have been wanting to do this video for a long time. Um, and in the past I just didn't have as many Blu-rays as I do now. So this is probably the best chance that I have to do it for the first time. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Might as well just get straight into the to the Blu-rays. Let's just, let's just get straight into it. The first one is 10 Cloverfield Lane, a movie that I honestly really enjoyed. Um, I don't know, I really, I really like this movie, and as I said uh, once before on my channel, not much of a connection between this one and the first Cloverfield. Anyway, but for the second one, um, uh, forgot what this was called, 12 Years a Slave, yeah, awesome movie, actually. I, I've had this one for many years and uh, the last time I watched it was the first time I bought it on Blu-ray so that was the last time I saw it so it's just that type of movie American Psycho an amazing movie just fun to see Christian Bale be a complete nutcase for however long the movie goes for Avatar um, yet another good movie there's not much I actually I will uh, speed these movies up because there's not much I have to say about most of them, so I'm just going to speed them up. Like, I'm going to speed it up and then just name them off. Okay? So, you ready? Okay. Arrival. Argo. The Accountant. Brothers. Birdman. Black Swan. With this movie, it, uh, I think this is the movie that actually first got me on, first got me into Darren, uh, Aronos, Aaron... Ofsky? Did he direct Mother? I don't know if he directed Mother or not. I'm pretty sure he's the one who directed that. Uh, but this movie first got me into him as a director, so thank you, Black Swan. Ooh, I know this one. I'm not going to do a quick uh, cutaway for this one. The Big Short. This one I really, really liked because it blew me away with just the information that it shows you. Like, the... the the stuff that goes on behind the scenes of the financial market of uh, or the market whatever in America and that the housing collapse and all that stuff this opened my eyes to just how destructive the economy can be so and it's it's uh, the movie is also driven by really good performances so that also is a big plus in a movie like this but not that many people liked it like not that many people like people liked it but they didn't praise it as much as I praise it. I this is a really good movie. I, I really reckon you should watch this. Boyhood. Big Hero 6. Bridge of Spies. Conjuring. I have to say, is the movie that actually got me into horror movies in the beginning. Conjuring opened like it was the first real horror movie that I saw. I didn't really watch horror movies before this one. And then when I watched it I was I saw that the, the horror genre can be something that it is an art form as well as all the other genres in film and that's what The Conjuring uh, taught me um, so crazy stupid love Captain Phillips Castaway Casino Royale Cars 1 and 2 why do I have Cars 2? well because I do like the Cars trilogy and you can say that it's a trilogy now you can say that exists Collateral who knew that Tom Cruise would be so good as a villain? And this is, I think this is the only movie, I don't know, I haven't seen that many movies of his, like I'm a fan of his, but I think this is the, the most successful 
movie of his where he is the villain. And I think he needs to be he needs to play villain characters a, a lot more because he's really good at it. The Departed. Deadpool. What the fuck you looking at? You should have worn your brown pants. The Dark Knight Trilogy. Deepwater Horizon. Django Unchained. Die Hard. Quick side note. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Just, it's just a fact. The Edge of Seventeen. End of Watch. With End of Watch, I saw uh, some promotional footage. Um, this is not when it was coming out, but uh, because I really wasn't into movies when this came out. But before I watched this movie, I wanted to see what it was about, okay? And saw the promotional footage and saw that it was a found footage movie and was uh, about it. But then when I watched it, I was like, damn. That is the best. This is the best found footage movie you could ever watch. I'm not even kidding. It really is. Edge of Tomorrow. Ex Machina, Everest, The Founder. This movie came out, uh, when this movie came out in my area, uh, no one was watching it. And to what I understand, no one uh, domestically, as in in the US, was really watching it either. It got some poor reviews as well. I don't know why, this is actually a pretty good movie. Um, if you haven't watched it, uh, Jeremy Johns' review for The Founder. Watch his review because he really he actually uh, speaks about this movie positively as well, and uh, it's a pretty good movie. So watch it. Fury, Fight Club, Forrest Gump, The Fighter, Gone Girl. I just have to say, look at this cover for Gone Girl. Like, look at this. It's like a it's like a book. It's it's the most unique cover for a, a movie for a Blu-ray that I've seen. The Gift, Gravity, Her, Hacksaw Ridge. Now, with this one, this I said in my top 10 of 2016, I said that Hacksaw Ridge was my number one. Uh, I still think that is true, um, but I may, I, I did miss out on one movie in 2016, that being La La Land. Um, so I think if I had seen La La Land in 2016, that would have been my number one. This still would have been number two though, at least, at the very least. This would have been number two because it is an amazing movie. The Hateful Eight, Inside Out, The Incredibles, The Imitation Game, Interstellar, I, Robot, Inception, Independence Day, and Glorious Bastards. I just need to slow down for a second uh, because this is a, a collection. Jurassic Park, the 25th anniversary collection. This is a great collection. They're not selling it any, any anymore. They're not selling it uh, anymore. Um, but such a good collection. Um, and this one is from the first to fourth one. I have not gotten the collection that contains the fifth one. I will get it soon, but I'm not in a I'm not in a hurry to get that one. I mean, let's be honest. The King's Speech. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Kingsman, the Secret Service. Lock. Lights out. Limitless. Logan, Looper. Okay, so this seems to be a, a thing that I'm doing. For the collections, because I have quite a few of them that I'm looking at right now. Collections, I will have to like pull them out and show you. Um, Lethal Weapon, one to four. Great. Moon, The Martian, Memento. Okay, so as I said, collections. Um, I do have the Mission Impossible uh, 1 to 5 collection. Um, I will get the 1 to 6 collection soon. Um, and this is what I was saying earlier. This is my current collection. So I, this whole thing will be updated uh, very soon. And in the future, you'll get to see that if, if you guys do want to see it. Um, right now, it's Mission Impossible 1 to 5, so, yep. The Nice Guys, Nightcrawler, The Next Three Days, Oblivion, the Prestige. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to do a cutaway for this one. This is just perfect. It's got the, the perfect level of uh, cheesiness, um, but epic action as well, and a great third act, in my opinion. Um, I just, Predator, awesome. Pulp Fiction, Pacific Rim. Holy shit, you know what I just realized? Uh, I live in Australia, and in the movie, we see Australia. And in the movie, there's a, there's uh, two Australians 
uh, father and son with their own Jaeger. I don't think it's a coincidence that they're on the cover and not um, Gypsy Danger. Prisoners, Patriots Day. A quiet place. Ready Player One, The Revenant, Rush, Rise of the Guardians. Okay, we've got another collection here. That being the Star Trek 3 film collection of the, the new ones, of course. Um, am I a big Star Trek fan? No. Will I get the other collections of the, like, uh, the TV shows and the, the movies, like the old movies and stuff, and Next Generation? Am I committed to Star Trek enough to get that? Probably not. So I'm just sticking with these. These are all I needed for Star Trek. That's, that's it. Also, Benedict Cumberbatch. Best villain in the trilogy right here. Spotlight, okay? This one came out in 2015. I don't know where in 2015. Like, it could have been one of those movies that came out in uh, December, like limited releases, and then had a wider release in January in 2016. I don't know. But if I were to have seen this in 2015, believe it or not, this would have been my number one. Guess what my number one for 2015 was? The Force Awakens. So, for this movie to top that one, this is a brilliant movie. Sicario, Speed, The Sting, Shutter Island, Seven Pounds, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Silver Linings Playbook, The Shawshank Redemption, Straight Outta Compton, Saving Mr. Banks. Okay, I have been waiting, to, I have been holding this in for so long, okay? Seven is the movie that first got me into movies as a profession, as an art form, as something to be appreciated. Before I, before I even had watched Seven, I was just watching movies for fun and not really to learn anything from or appreciate. Seven is the movie that showed me that movies can be a message, they can be a piece of art, they are something to appreciate. David Fincher showed me that with Seven, okay? Everyone has that one movie, this is that one movie for me. Transformers the movie. Okay, so it's not really in a collection, like a collector's Blu-ray, but I do have all three Toy Story movies and I can't wait for the fourth one. Whether I review them or not, we'll just have to wait and see. But, um, yeah, for now Toy Story, amazing. Okay, <laughs> okay. This is the franchise that I kind of grew up on and it's not really a collection just like Toy Story um, like it's not in, in a collector's blu-ray but I still have I'm just gonna round them off now the Terminator um, I'm gonna skip to Terminator Genesis which is a movie that I don't actually hate I'm, I'm a huge Terminator fan and I don't hate this movie it's not that bad I mean it got some pretty bad reviews but it's not that bad honestly anyway um this is how much of a Terminator fan I am, specifically of one of them. Terminator 2, I have two copies of the exact same movie. Why do I have two copies, you might ask? Well, the first one uh, has the original, it's the original movie um, with all the uh, mistakes, like the, the windshield falling off the truck when it, it, when it drives off the edge. Um, so it, this is the original Terminator 2. And there's also uh, two versions of it. There's the extended version and the special, I don't know what it's called, the special edition extended version? I don't know. Anyway, there, there's an extended version, then there's another extended version, which, which is an extended version of the first extended version, if you, if you know what I mean. It's really complicated. But the second one that I own is the digital remaster. A, oh my gosh, it fixes all the problems, including that windshield thing that I mentioned before. So amazing. Anyway, moving on with Total Recall. Um, great movie. Um, don't watch the remake. That's, that's really all I gotta say about that. Taken. The Wolf of Wall Street. Whiplash. War of the Worlds. World War Z. The Wolverine. Zootopia. Zodiac. Anyway, um, so that is the uh, end of my uh, Blu-ray collection, but I do have some extras. Now, what these extras are is this is my collection. Th the extras are my collection of uh, TV shows and uh, DVDs um, and uh, box sets. So there's still movies, and it's over there. 
okay? But there's, they're still movies, um, but they're in box sets, so therefore they really can't fit here, okay? Um, because they're in, in box sets, they're not in like a normal Blu-ray cover. Um, so that's why they're all over there. So my box sets, my, my movie box sets are over there, my TV shows and stuff, so I will, as a bonus, show you that. So let's just go over there, shall we? Uh, I can't tell you what's in them, but there's some really good uh, shows and stuff in here. Also DVDs, like cartoons and stuff. Anyway, um, so here we are. This is the bonus part of this video, I guess. The other section where I keep my, my collections, my uh, collections collection. Yeah, we'll call it that. Anyway, let's open this up. And we've got quite a few movies here. Um, all of them MCU movies up here. Uh, and TV shows as well. Um, not all of them though, we've got some DC shows, um, but we'll go through them. Um, this is my collection, my Superman collection, which I will be replacing soon, um, because there's a Batman and Superman collection, which has all the, um, which has the uh, Tim Burton Batman and the Joel Schumacher Batman. Uh, in a collection with all the uh, Superman movies of the, you know, Christopher Reeve Superman. Um, but for right now, I do have a collection, and it's all the Superman movies. Um, Superman 2 included uh, the Richard Donner cut. Um, I've noticed that the original release of Superman 2 isn't being sold anymore. Interesting. If you've seen that original, if you've seen the original release of Superman 2, then you know why. Okay, so... What I have here, um, after the Superman collection, is uh, all four seasons of The Flash. Why, you might ask? Well, because The Flash, I'm a big fan of The Flash, uh, more so than I am Green Arrow uh, as a character, but also, Flash's show has not diminished in any way, not in my opinion, uh, at least. Um, his show, while not always great, is at the very least entertaining. So, I don't know, I just, I can't, I can't not buy The Flash, it's just awesome. Okay, so moving on to the MCU, I have all three seasons, well, there's actually two other seasons, but all the three seasons on Blu-ray of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, the fourth season just came out on Blu-ray, but the fourth season ended in 2017. And it's only just come out on Blu-ray in the beginning of 2019? Come on, guys, like, speed it up. Anyway, that's my little rant on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, for other TV shows, I have the Blu-rays for Daredevil Season 1, Jessica Jones Season 1, Daredevil Season 2, Luke Cage Season 1, eh, Iron Fist Season 1. Eh, just because Luke Cage and Iron Fist aren't the best shows on Netflix, why the fuck would you cancel? Why are you canceling? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you put us fans through that? Anyway, um, oh, I do have some MCU movies here, but I can't actually to be to go in chronological order. If you look above me, what is up there is the Phase One and Phase Two collections of the MCU. Um, so that contains uh, Phase 1, you know, Iron Man to Avengers, and then Phase 2, Iron Man 3 to Ant-Man. And then, so we've already done that, we've gone in order. Now, after Ant-Man, Civil War, uh, Doctor Strange, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, my personal favourite alongside uh, Winter Soldier and Civil War, Spider-Man Homecoming, love that movie, um, Black Panther, Thor Ragnarok, which I actually did not like at first. I don't know if you guys have seen my review for it, but I hated Thor Ragnarok at first. Then couldn't stop watching it and ended up loving it. And my, I think my number one favourite at the moment, Avengers Infinity War, because it's just that good. Okay, so as we go down to this level, it's a little bit more mixed because we have... Uh, the Alien box set collection, see, it's a, it's a box so it can't really go over there. Um, I don't need to show them off to you, but that's all, that's all of them. Um, I tried watching Alien 3 
and watched most of it, but fell asleep at the end. Yeah. Uh, and just for the life of me, have not gotten around to watching the fourth one. Um, but I swear to you, I'm still an Alien fan. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought this. Okay. Uh, so this part, you guys may not know about. Um, but I am a huge fan of Transformers. I grew up with Transformers. I love Transformers. One of my favorite shows, which you'll see eventually. Actually, I won't tell you now, but it's my favorite show. Um, so this is the Generation 1 collection in box form. Um, containing seasons 1 to 4, of course. Not the movie, though. The movie, as you saw over there, is on Blu-ray. But this is how much of a Transformers fan I actually am. I have it again on DVD, the, the same movie. And the reason why I have it on DVD again and have kept it on DVD is because the, the Blu-ray has it only in one, uh, ha I don't know what you would well, call it, but uh, what's it called? Okay, so the Blu-ray, this is what it's called, the Blu-ray has it, only has it in widescreen, okay? Which is not how the movie was originally released. It was originally released in full screen, being um, like a square. It doesn't take up the whole TV. Um, so that's why I have the DVD as well as the Blu-ray, because the Blu-ray is in high definition. This is not in high definition, okay? But it has more options of how you might want to watch it. Anyway, that's just me. That's I'm a huge Transformers fan. Um, also, another show that I have um, is Transformers Animated. It might be for kids, like Transformers in itself might be for kids, but I don't care, I grew up with it, and Transformers has really matured uh, with Transformers Prime. If you watch the trans, if you're a film buff, okay, and you watch the Transformers movies, and you're like, oh, fuck, man, when are they going to improve Transformers? When are they going to be good? Watch Transformers Prime, okay? This, in my opinion, is way better than the movies, just watch Transformers Prime. There's only three seasons of it. It's not going to take up too much of your time. If you want to watch, if you actually do want to forget about the movies and want to watch something, uh, want to watch a really good Transformers um, uh, incarnation or want to watch uh, Transformers at its best, Transformers Prime is the way to do it. And then after Transformers Prime, I do have the movie collection that we were just talking. I was just talking about the movie collection. Here you go. There. Why do I have that? Because I'm a Transformers fan and I will get anything Transformers. Just, I do acknowledge though that they do suck, okay? All right, um, moving on to my Star Wars collection, I have uh, Star Wars The Complete Saga. I did a video on this once, um, ages ago. Uh, but it contains all six of the Star Wars movies. Um, including three discs of special features. Uh, there's a bonus disc that contains episodes one, two, three archives. I don't know what is contained on those archives. Uh, four to six archives. Um, and then there's a third disc, a bonus disc, which contains documentaries and spoofs. I think that means like fan films, I guess. I don't really know. Um, but that's all the six movies. And then... I have Force Awakens and Rogue One. I do not own Last Jedi or uh, Solo yet. Uh, I, I, I need to get them. I don't need to get the last one. I don't need to. I mean, how? I've already got... Like, Solo won't affect the franchise at all, really. Anyway. Moving on to my next one. Um... Rocky, the Undisputed Collection. It's over here because it is in box form. So, Rocky 1 to 6. I just love Rocky. Also, if you haven't, uh, sorry, I f completely forgot. If you haven't seen uh, uh, my reviews uh, with my dad for those films, check them out. They're, they're pretty good. Also, after the Rocky Collection is Creed. So, yeah. Can't wait to buy Creed 2 and rewatch that. Now this is some um, weird stuff. I don't even know. <laughs> this is this is like we're just I don't know. 
don't know, just stuff goes here. Stuff that's not movies just goes here, okay? Justice League action. <laughs> it's a kid show. But I watched it and I was like, hey, these DC heroes have been represented pretty well in this kid's show, okay? I, I kind of liked it. Um, they need to release the rest of it. Um, and then Superman 2 on DVD. The reason why I have this is not... It has the Richard Donner collection, the Richard Donner cut, sorry, it has that. But it also has the original uh, release of Superman 2. So I might do a review on that version one day. Anyway, uh, moving on. What I also have here is... Oh, jeez. Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Seasons 1 and 2. Uh, because it's a great cartoon, might be, might also be for kids, but it's a really good cartoon. It's a really good show. Okay, so if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's really good. That's for the uh, Avengers collection. Um, I have a Spider-Man collection, which contains the trilogy, the Sam Raimi tri trilogy. I don't need to buy Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I don't own it. And, if you're a Spider-Man fan, then you'll be glad to see this. Spectacular Spider-Man, Season 1 and 2. Spider-Man has done so well in this, in this show. I can't, I oh, love it. Uh, moving on to the last part. I also, I'm also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm also a huge Ninja Turtles fan. And I have Seasons 1 to 4 of the Nickelodeon run. So good. I love it. <laughs> what I would say is that uh, this version of Ninja Turtles is on par with Transformers Prime uh, due to the animation, um, but also the storytelling as well and uh, how it explores its characters. It's just a pretty mature show. And this, this, you see that? Yes, this is the 2007 animated release of uh, Ninja Turtles, the, the movie. Um, I don't fucking care what people say. I like this movie. I like this movie. I grew up with it, and maybe I'm being a little biased, but I like this movie. It's a good movie. It's a good Ninja Turtles movie, at the very least. Anyway, that that is it. That is my entire collection of, so far, my Blu-rays, my movies, and my TV shows, and box sets, and all that. Um, yeah, so, I, I understand that this was probably a long video, it tends to happen, um, I've, I, in all honesty, have watched other people's Blu-ray collections, Chris Stuckman's, Jer um, not Jeremy Johns, because he hasn't done it, uh, but, uh, the Flick Pick, um, and I was inspired so much by their Blu-ray collection videos that I wanted to do my own, and I have, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, so I hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, Expect to see me um, in March to do my review for Captain Marvel. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be releasing uh, videos in February uh, or any more videos in January. Um, but I will say this. If the trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home comes out, then I definitely will be reacting to that. Okay. So if it comes out before Captain Marvel, then yeah, definitely I'll be reacting to that. Because I... I... Please release that trailer. Um, anyway... I guess I'll see you in that trailer reaction and or my review for Captain Marvel and also Runaway Season 2, which I have to review before Captain Marvel. Um, but I'll see you in those videos uh, whenever they come out. Um, so I'll see you then.